Hiya guys, what is up? It's your man, Mr. Eurovision 1986, back with another Eurovision live stream. And on this live stream today, I, we are going to be looking at Spain in Eurovision from 1961 to 2022. Welcome back if you're coming back to my channel and if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are coming back and are new to my channel and have not yet subscribed, all you have to do is click the bell notification button so you click the subscribe button to be and then click the bell notification button to be notified when any new whenever I go live on this channel. Also, don't forget to give this live stream a big massive thumbs up and leave a comment. Also, don't forget I do have my social media platforms which you can follow me on if you do wish to do so. I've got Twitter at your at Eurovision 86. I've got Instagram at HBK Euromaniac, and I've got TikTok at Andrew Jeffs One. Right, now we've got that out of the way, let's get into, let's get into the, what this video is all about. We're going to be looking at Spain in the Eurovision Song Contest from 1961 up until 2022. Now, Spain have had some really big bangers for me over the years, but as with as the past two weekly live streams, I'll just, I'll just slowly commentate you through all the songs and give you a brief opinion. Of my song, of, of what I thought of the songs, because mo because most of these songs I am already really familiar with, having listened to them over and over and over and over again. So without further ado, here we go. Spain in Eurovision, sixty one to two thousand twenty two. Big up to Stark Lucas for these wonderful compilation videos. Spain started in 1961 with the song Estando Contigo by Conchita Bautista, coming in ninth out of 16 entries with eight points. Very, not, very nice opener for, for Spain, in my opinion. Then we go to 1962, the song is called Yamame by Victor Balaguer. And the song come unfortunately equal 13th, not picking up a single point. No, there's nothing overly bad about it to be honest. It's quite nice this one. Then we get to 1963. The song is called Algo Prodigioso and it's by Jose Guardiola. The song, this song comes in 12th place with two points. Another nice song. Then we have they're now known as never noticed, well, they're now known as Lost TNT, but at the time because groups weren't allowed, they were known as Team Nelly and Tony. And the song's called Caracola. And this song finished again, 12th place. Then we come to 1965, and unfortunately, it was an equal 15th finish last place for, for returning artist Conchita Bautista with the song Que Bueno, Que Bueno. I absolutely adore this song. It's everything I want to hear in a Spanish entry. And then we come to one of my all time favorite Eurovision entries from, from, we, from Spain, sorry, in 1966. The song Yo soy Aquil by Rafael, which finished equal seventh. I love the passion that's put, that's portrayed in this song. Then he came back the following year to Rafael with a song in 1967 with Hablemos del Amor, managing to finish sixth. I don't, although it did better than that, than Yo soy Aquil, I thought this, I thought this was a better song than that, than. I thought Yosso Akil was better than Hablemos de Lamour. But each of their own. Then we had their first winner in 1968. The song was called La 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 Maciel. The song had something one Eurovision with, I think they had 120, 108 Lars in the song. To see sometimes a repetition of one word can win your Eurovision. And then 
the infamous four-way tie year every 1969 comes up and another win for for Spain in 1969 their last date with Vivo Cantando by the by the singer Salome I think he I think, I think we're coming into what I would call Spain's imperial phase because in 1970 they finished equal fourth with the fantastic Julio Iglesias with the song Gwendolyn. Now Julio Iglesias should be pretty should be pretty well known worldwide. He was he was a pretty successful singer worldwide. Then we come to 1971, the singers called Karina and on Mundo Nuevo. And this gave Spain a second place finish. Once again, as I say, we're in Spain's imperial fight. Then, then we come slight dropping, come to a slight drop in 1972. A tenth place finish for Jaime More with Amanete. Then back up to the heights, high heights of second place in 1973 with the fantastic Mokadadis with Eres Tu. And Eurovision Evergreen and a proper classic and brilliant song. Then we get to 1974, the singer is Peret. The song is Cante Cephalis. And this finish equal ninth. Not a bad, not a bad song in my opinion at all. I really like this one. Then we have a tenth place finish for Spain in 1975. Sergio Espalis. And the song's called Tu Volveras. Then we go to 1976. The singer is called Braulio. The song is called Sobran La Palabras. And it finished 16th place with 11 points. Not a bad song. Not a bad song. I don't mind this one at all. And then we go to 1977. And this is the singer called Mickey. Enseñame a cantar. Finishing in ninth. I I I like I like this one. It's it's a bit on the it's a bit on the for nineteen seventy it's a bit on the cheesy side, but I still do like it. Anyway, we move on now to nineteen seventy eight. Salama some bars. Finishing equal ninth. Right this and then it's another second place in 1979 for the fantastic Betty Misiego with su canción. Really, really good songs. 1979, one of the strongest students in Eurovision, in my opinion. Then we go to 1980, where Spain was sent. Click Olimpio y quédate a la noche. Been managing to a 12th place for this Spain. Not a bad song. Again, we go to 1981, the team is Bachelet. And the song And the song finished in 14th. It's a pleasant song. Wouldn't go out and to this too. Then we have a 10th place finish for Spain in 1932 with the song L by Lucia. Now, personally, I'm surprised this I'm surprised this wasn't higher at Eurovision. But that's just my personal taste. I think it's really good. Oh, and then we have the fantastic Kien Mane Hami Baha Ayrema de Samaya in 1983. I may have finished equal 19th and that's with no points. 
But I think it was that out of the box. It deserved something. Then we moved to 1984. The song is called Lady Lady. This group is called Bravo. The song thinks in third. Yeah. I, I like it. I wouldn't actually think about my mind to listen to it as well. But then we come to 1985, the singer Paloma San and the song's called La Fiesta Ferrino, finishing an equal 14. I, li I like this one. One of the most nice lights in the Then we move to 1996, the group is called Cadillac. The song is called Valentino. But this man is finishing take price this time. I don't, I don't mind this one, it's all, it's good. Then we move on to 1987 where we have Patricia Price, not Esta Solo, only managing the 19th Price finish. I, I, I don't mind this one at all, I, I think it's, I think it's probably because it's done, probably could have been better. Then we have the 1988 the group La Decada Prodigiosa. The song is called La Chiqui O Quiero, made in Spain. This man is an 11th place man who finished this band. Really, I like this one. Oh, then we can start 89. We have the singer Nina. The song called, the song called La Frida Para Amar. Managed with 6th place finish for uh, Spain. I love this one. But if you've ever watched the whole video, all I ever all I ever see now is the runaway strand of hair that that, that, that slowly falls down the place throughout the song. Oh yes, and then we come to 1990. If you're thinking of this one, how to please get this one? The song's from Nido, and the song is from by Azuka Moreno. Which gives you first time and fifth place for No, no, no. popular opinion coming here for 921. The song's by La, by La Pedagos. The song is by Sergio Dalma. And it's been for four plays. I do, I, this one went over my head, this one. Did, I'm not a fan of this one at all. 1992. We, we come to an artist called Seraphim to Beauty. Todo esto es la música. We finished in 14 times for Spain. Then we get to 1993. The song is called Hombres and the song by Eva Santa Maria. Finishing 11. I think this is typically what I would expect from the Spanish society. You know, I think it's Then we come to 1994. And it's an ancient place for me, but Alejandro Abadu. Eh, no, eh, no, eh, 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 eh. Sorry if I put you down. Then we have a fantastic second place finish. This would this would be their best price finish until this this would be their best price uh, this is their best price finish since their last ones. Then we get to 1996. A 20th price finish for I can the sale with by Antonio Carbonell. I don't mind it, it sounds very Spanish. Going back to Robert Miguel, one of the best Spanish European songs ever. And then we come to 1997. The song is sung by Marcos Rumas. Marcos Rumas. And it's called Sin Rencor for his new six for Spain. Really nice song and really well deserved, in my opinion. Then we get to 1998, 
my favourite Germany ever. And here, here they were with Spain with them by Mikael Herzog, Clever Our Half Fantasy, and the song finished in 16th place. I think it's uh, Tyler, I think it's a really good song. Then we come to 1999. The song is Nagera Esucha. Scripture and the song is from by Olivia, finishing the 23rd in last place. Not a great song from Spain, if I've been totally honest. And I don't know who was, I don't know what they were thinking with it with the outfit, it just didn't flatter at all. I'm sorry. Then we have a returning artist in 2000 in the form of Sarah Fusabiri with Carl Gardo being swimming and finishing in equal 18th place. Not one of my favourites at all. And now it's 2001. The song is called Dile Que La Quiero by Dave Rivera. And this guy's Spain, a sixth place finish. And surprisingly, it is, well, it was up until last year, their best performance of the year. 21st century. 2002, we have Rosa with the song Europe in the celebration finishing in second place. Yeah, you can see why this finish there. Love the song. Then we move to 2003. It finished equal eight. Um, Surprisingly, I, I, I've been surprised by a couple of years how this how this changed up in the top 10 of the ESC Top 250. But I do really like it. And we move on to 2004, the singer is Ramon, Harari and Ami, that's the easy song. 10th place finish for them. So, so what I would expect to do such a, a Spanish song to say, no, I can't be totally honest. And then in 2005, we have the group Song of Soul with Rukheria. 21st place finish for this guy. It's, it, you couldn't say to any other country with this Spain series, but it wasn't not their finest out really. Oh, that first part moment. 2006, we have the group Last Ketchup. Yes, you heard me right, that's Ketchup, the big big behind the Ketchup song, with a song from Bloody Mary, version in 21st place. It wasn't a big fan of something they could put in Oh, 2007, we have My Boys, Dinesh, and Lovey Medusa. Surprisingly for me, the only thing in the 20th place. I thought these were, this was a fantastic song. I don't know, I don't know why, voting probably didn't get behind it and in 2008 we have this Rodolfo Chiqui de Quattro with Baila El Chiqui Chiqui finishing in 16th place I think this was, big, this was the year people finally had enough of entries like this to feel a vision and I didn't really like that one then in 2009 we have Soraya with La Noche Para Me finishing in 24th place Um, I, I, I don't mind this one, but I, I am really surprised it finished at that low. Oh, and then we have 2010. Frank Rodriguez. Algo Pecanito. Finishing the 15th place. This was the, this was the year they had a stage invader in, in, the, in the name of Jimmy John. And they had to perform that again. I did so well. Then we moved to 2000, we have Lucia Perez with her make it go by now. 23rd place position. Gives me good Spanish from my boys. Ah, uh, and then we have it, we have a good, we have really good song here from Spain in 2012. Pastor is still there. Get it to come in, go. 10th place finish for her. And this is 
this is a brilliant song still holds up to this day then we have 2030 ESDM Contigo has to A for now 25th place since Piggy Pass Free Piggy Finish yeah finishing 25th at the end of the June as it was it then 2014 we have we former X Factor UK and UK contestant Ruth Lorenzo with the song Dancing in the Rain finishing 10th place for Spain Flawless vocals, really good song, really good effort. Then 2015, we had the singer again with Aminefe. Only managed to touch her, nice finish for her song. Really good vocals, and I'm pretty sure she is still she's still in a relationship with Manchester United goalkeeper David De Gea. Then we move on to 2016. The singer is Dan A. The song is called Say A. Finishing in 20 seconds. I think, it might, I think we're in an era where, we're in an era where fans, we, we fans seem to be in love spike. But oh dear, another face palm moment. 2017, Madame Navarro, do it for your lover. 26. 26. The less said about this song, the better. Everybody knows the infamous bomb notes from this song. Let's just leave it at that. Thank you, Mother, 2018. Amaya and Alpha, who took those strong. Finishing 23rd pounds. We're the only one here where Spanish should be something to yeah, like lots of the fans on when it came to it, when it came to it, they just seemed to fall flat. For right, example, 2019, Vicky Lavenda, only mentioned 20 seconds. Then in 2020, they were the counter, the counter, the counter. And they would have said last tanko with the song reverse um i wasn't overly keen on this one if i'm being honest and then 2021 we have last country when we break it down oh 2022 chanel slow mo third place Oh, my, my queen of Spanish Univision. This is such an iconic performance. This will, this will go down as probably one of the best performances, if not the best stage performance in Eurovision Euro history, in my opinion. So, yeah, that was... That was Spain in Eurovision from 1961 to 2022. Do you, do you see what I thought? I'd love to know what you thought of it. So, yeah. That's it for another live stream for the week. As I say, uh, but before we, uh, more or less, I do have my, I do have a Germany, a Germany in Eurovision is my next one. And I believe, and I've, and I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that one is, that one's Thursday night next week at the, at the same time as tonight, but I think it's on Thursday next week. So be sure to join me for that. I've got, I've got plenty of weekly live streams going up to Eurovision. And I've got a whole week full of live streams for you. We where on the wet on the tenth of May. I've, I've already said I'm going to be. I'm going to be live stream. I'm going to be doing live stream and giving you my whole experience from uh, my 
from my year of it, my whole Eurovision experience from going to watch it live. So I hope you join me for that. I have my semi final one, my semi final two, and my final, my semi final one, semi final two full show live streams, and my grand final results live stream. Be sure to join me for that. And and I probably I probably have um I probably have Eurovision, uh, old old classic Eurovision watch throughs on that week as well. So be sure to what and to watch to watch out for plenty of live streaming coming through my account in the upcoming weeks and I'm, I'm hoping to after i'm hoping to have the inspiration after eurovision to keep up and do do more and do more and more live streams for you because i'm i'm just i'm wanting to i'm just wanting to share with the with you my absolute passion and love for eurovision I may not be the most technologically advanced live stream you're going to see, but I'll, I'm giving it a good go. I'm not very technologically minded. This is about it's about the best thing you're going to get from me until until I can until I have the, the time to hone my to hone my craft and learn everything there is to learn about doing a proper vlog and live live streams and stuff so yeah but thanks thanks for all the love tonight if you've what if you haven't watched with me or if you do watch at a later date that's fine i'm not gonna be mad i'm not mad that, that i don't think there's anybody watching right now but Hey ho, it is. Hey ho, it is what it is. So yeah, next. So yeah, be sure to join me next Thursday, I believe it is. Yeah, yeah, it is next Thursday where I'll be doing a Germany in Eurovision reaction. That will be my last. That will be my last country in Eurovision reaction because. We'll go, we go to, we go to, because after that, we get to three, three weeks to go. So three, so three weeks to go, we'll have three weeks to go to, to the Eurovision. We will have my top 37 live stream rundown. The week after that, we will have my um, semi-final one ranking and qualif um, qualifier prediction live stream and then the week after that we will have my semi-final two ranking and qualifier prediction live stream so as you can see i've got i have i have got a lot planned for you over the next month or so and i'm ho and i'm hoping to try my best to give you a live stream every Every possible week I can, I will be giving you a live stream, Eurovision related. So be sure to watch out and be sure to keep keep subscribing and commenting. So yeah. So for now, much love to you all. And until next time, bye-bye for now. Bye.